Hello world. Today I want to talk about a problem that is um, I think fairly common for most gamers. So in the following setup is that you have a gaming monitor that's 144 hertz, you know, specifically designed for high refresh rate, low input lag for games like uh, Counter-Strike Go, even League of Legends. And uh, the comfortable setup is to have a dual monitor on the side for uh, viewing your browser tabs, even distracting yourself with like Netflix and Twitch TV. And the problem with having a dual monitor setup is that this side monitor can usually affect your um, in-game frame rates and it can cause huge frame rate drops if you don't have a video card that's say at least a GTX 960 or a Radeon um, 280, 380X. And the problem stems from the two monitors either being different resolution or being different refresh rates. Because as far as I can tell, Windows treats the both monitors as if it were one. So when it tries to draw the entire, say, Windows desktop, especially in windowed mode for most games, it, it gets kind of awkward because over here it's it's trying to draw like one horizontal line across both screens and on the left side you have it going at 144 hertz and on the right side you have it going at 60 hertz and the driver tries to synchronize the two displays and it just doesn't work like you know 144 is not exactly a perfect multiple of 60 hertz so um one way that i've discovered to kind of get around this problem to prevent the side monitor from causing FPS dips on the main monitor is to install two video cards that use different drivers. Now, if you use two video cards that are identical, like for, if for example in an SLI setup, um, this would not work. It has to be two video cards controlled by different display drivers. So for example, in my case, I have an RX 480 as the main video card, and then I have a really low-end, I wouldn't even as much as call it a GPU, but a GT730, NVIDIA GT730. So on the left side, the monitor is plugged directly into the uh, Radeon RX 480, and then on the right side, the monitor is plugged into a completely different video card driven by a, a different graphics driver. So that's really the key here. Just having the two on completely, just going through feeding through completely different channels. And what I've noticed is that when I, especially when I turn vertical sync on, I no longer get the odd FPS dips on the 144 hertz gaming monitor. And this is not really a problem that most that I've ever seen mentioned on any site, really. So hopefully this video helps you out.